So accounting and financial reporting was born in the world of for profits and financial statements have evolved to meet the needs of investors. So with the IFR for MPO project, we've got this great opportunity to rethink what are the really important numbers uh, in the financial statements of a non-profit organisation. Decisions about the IFR for MPO guidance development are not made by me. And in this video, I'd like to share what is very much a personal opinion framed by uh, my 21 years working with NGOs in Uganda and across Africa about what would be really great to see in non-profit financial statements that maybe we don't normally see in for-profit ones. So my first pick is total expenditure. I think this is a great proxy for size. It's a good number to track for trends over time. And it's more easily relatable to the actual missional activities that the MPO does. My second pick is for unrestricted general reserves. Now by that, I mean the cash and net assets of the organization that aren't restricted for a particular purpose by a donor. Um, and research by Humentum has shown that having a proper level, an appropriate level of reserves is a really important indicator of financial resilience. The third number I would be really keen to see is a split between program and admin costs, probably in the notes rather than on the face. But again, this research by Humentum shows that many organisations don't get sufficient cost coverage from their funders to pay for their admin costs. So I hope that more consistency and transparency about admin costs uh, could help drive better cost coverage practice or cost um, yeah cost recovery practice by MPOs and better cost recovery policies by funders. Now my fourth number uh, is about capital expenditure from restricted grants. So again born really of the practical difficulties for NPOs having to prepare reports for donors and reports for statutory purposes. I think it would be really helpful for there to be, again, a consistent and clear way of showing capital expenditure from restricted grants. So those are my personal opinions. I'd love to hear yours as well. Thank you so much.